Welcome to the demonstration of Energy Bar. Energy Bar is a group of utilities functions that help you to speed up your design process in SolidWorks. Those functions are proven to be useful by the 800 industrial customers of 3D Quick Tools products. The Energy Bar provides function for sketch automation, selection automation, assembly design utilities, multiple bodies design utilities and batch printing tools. First, we would like to go through the Advance File Property Tool. The Advance File Property Tool is a file property editing tool for components in assembly. User can view, add, and edit the file property of a selected component without opening the component itself. File property groups and values can be predefined with a text file and select from the file property list. File property groups can be added to the selected component by choosing or enter the property values into the corresponding fields. Different groups of file properties, like material properties and drawing title block properties can be added once at a time. The file property then can be imported into the drawing documents when creating the component drawings. By opening the component, you can see the file properties are added and edited in the customer properties. The second tool that we would like to introduce is the component grouping tool. It is a tool to group the components in the assembly for hide and show. Components from different sub-assemblies can be grouped together into the same component group and hide, show together. This tool provides you the control of the display of the components independent of the assembly structure of SolidWorks. And you can turn on and off a group of components together with a single mouse click. Selected component can be added to a group by right click on the component group and select the add component function. The component grouping tool provides you a fast and flexible way to organize the components in your assembly in your own way. Assembly Utilities tool is another group of functions in Energy Bar to help doing assembly design. There are function to toggle component to be include in bill of material or not, function to search identical components, and function to separate a component for editing from a patterned component feature. To separate a component from a pattern, you can select the component and then click separate component function on the assembly utilities dialog. Then you can save the component into a new document by giving a new name to it. The new saved component will be replaced the patterned component in the pattern feature. You can now open it and edit it into a different shape. The next function that we want to introduce is the modify dimension function. The Modify Dimension function allows you to search for a given dimension name in all components in an assembly. And the found dimension will be highlighted. You can then edit and update this dimension value for all components containing this dimension in the assembly. It works as a linked dimension value for components within an assembly. The energy bar also provides a set of selection tools for part design automation. It provides tools to help you do selection automatically and reduce a large amount of mouse clicks when you do faces and edges selection. There is tool for selection of all circular edges on a body and tool for selecting all cylindrical or planar faces on a solid body. And, of course, it has tool to select all faces on a body too. Also, there is function to select faces by face color, which can select all faces on a body with the same face color. Apart from that, there is also tool to select faces within an enclosed boundary. 
After selecting the boundary face and a seed face within the enclosed region, the boundary selection tool can select all faces within the region. With the face region selected, we can use the manufacturing color tool to add face color to the face region. The face color applied by the manufacturing color tool is used to extract manufacturing feature and region according to different manufacturing methods. Different colors on the part body represent a different manufacturing method to be employed to manufacture that region. CAM software can read the manufacturing color data file, and use the color on the faces to select the correct manufacturing process to be used. Next, we are going to show you some sketch tools provided by the energy bar. One of it is the section sketch function. It is used to create the cross section sketch of a body or part with a section line. You can select a sketch plane on the part to output the section sketch to. Then you have to select a section line. A cross section sketch of the part at the section line will be created on the selected plane. Another sketch tool is a tool to offset face loop profile. This tool can be used to offset all edge loops on the selected face with an offset value. No matter the face loop is a regular or irregular profile, the offset can be created. There is also a face copy and paste function in the energy bar. You can select a group of faces on your part, and then use the copy and paste face function to paste the copied faces into a new part or another part. The faces will be pasted at the same location of the original and the pasted faces will be an imported surface body. Then you can use the imported surface to further model your part. The energy bar also provided a batch print program. This batch printing program can open a predefined text file which listed out all the drawing documents that required to be printed out. And then you can execute this drawing list to print out all the drawing documents in the list. The batch printing program also allows you to configuration the printing of different size drawing sheet to different printer. For example, an A4 size drawing will be printed by an A4 printer, and an A1 size drawing will be printed by an A1 plotter. So that, the drawing printed out will be sorted to the correct printer according to the size of the drawing sheet. For part modeling, there is a multiple body design tool set available in the energy bar. The tool set contains a function that color the bodies in a part, a function to hide and show selected bodies, and a function to create assembly from a multiple body part. To create an assembly with a multiple body part, each body in the part will be exported as a component in the assembly. The name of component will be the solid body name. In the last part of the demonstration, I would like to show you the quick insert component function. The quick insert component function can insert selected component in an assembly, and located the components based on a layout point sketch. The point sketch can be created with the point tool in the energy bar. It has function to create points on the centers of circular holes of selected face, or create a point array on a selected face. By using the quick insert component function, you can select the configuration of the component or assembly to be inserted. And you can specify the location of the component or assembly based on the layout point sketch. The point location will be the origin of the part, and you can offset the insert position with the offset option. The last function in the multiple body design tool set is the create assembly from selection. This function can create an assembly form the selected components. You can use it to group components in an assembly into a sub-assembly. Finally, I would like to thank you for your time to see our demonstration of the energy bar. We would like to help you to do your design and modeling in a more efficient way with the help of the energy bar from 3D Quick Tools.